Is he moving at all, your son? I know you said that she was shot, but what about your son? <laughs> Nobody. They're not. Neither one of them moving. A series of family tragedies. The twisted tale of two murders and a South Carolina legal dynasty. I saw blood. I saw brains. I saw pieces of skull. The state versus Richard Alexander Murdoch. Guilty verdict. The Murdochs, a wealthy family with serious and powerful family ties, makes this ongoing crime story even more intense with new details being discovered. The family was living their lavish lifestyle until they hit a long list of issues, one after the other, ultimately ending with the murder of both 20-year-old Paul Murdoch and 53-year-old Maggie Murdoch at their road farm. Richard Alexander Murdoch belonged to a dynasty of elected prosecutors in South Carolina's Low Country region. Murdochs have served as Hampton County's top prosecutors for three generations and were known for their power and big money. Who's driving the boat? You all know Alec Murdoch. That's his son. Good luck. One night, Paul Murdoch decided to go on a boat trip with five of his friends, including Mallory Beach. All six individuals were underage, but managed to get alcohol using Buster Murdoch's identity. They left in the car for Murdoch Creek House and hopped on a boat. They drove a few miles and partied all night until Paul crashed the boat on the Archer's Creek Bridge, which killed one of his friends, Mallory Beach. 911, emergency. We're in a boat crash on Archer's Creek. There's six of us and one is missing. Okay, who's missing? Female Mallory Beach is missing. Okay. Mallory's boyfriend pointed out that Paul was the one driving the boat, so his blood alcohol content was tested and it came out three times higher than the legal limit for operating a motor vehicle. Two months after the boat accident, Paul Murdoch was finally charged with three felony counts for driving under the influence and the death of Mallory Beach. Paul pleaded not guilty and due to the influence of his father, Alec Murdoch, he wasn't handcuffed or put in jail and was released on a $50,000 bond. Who's driving the boat? You all know Alec Murdoch. That's his son. Good luck. Two years had passed since Paul's conviction, but it still wasn't put on trial. However, fate had something else planned for him. Where's everybody else at? At the bridge, at the bottom of the bridge. Oh, we're still missing one. What's her name? On June 7, 2021, 911 dispatchers received a call from a panicked Alec Murdoch at 10.06 p.m saying that he had discovered the bodies of his 52-year-old wife, Maggie, and their 22-year-old son, Paul, near the dog kennels at the family's hunting lodge in Islandton, South Carolina. This is Alec Murdoch at 2147 Moselle Road. Is he moving at all, your son? I know you said that she was shot, but what about your son? <laughs> Nobody. They're not. Neither one of them's moving. The biggest question on everybody's mind is, did Alex Murdoch murder his wife and son? I didn't shoot my wife or my son any time. Maggie was reportedly shot with an automatic rifle, whereas Paul was shot with a shotgun. Alec claimed at the time he was with his terminally ill father. People started accusing him for the murder of his wife and son for the sake of inheriting life insurance. This was money that Alec needed, as he was also being investigated for fraud. But there was more to come for Alec Murdoch. On September 4, 2021, Alec was shot in Hampton County, South Carolina, while changing a flat tire. When I turned my back, they tried to shoot me. They shot me. Three days later, Alec Murdoch's law firm accused him of stealing $1 million from the company. Alec resigned from the company and his law practicing license was suspended by the South Carolina Supreme Court and an investigation was open. Did he murder his wife and son? No. Does he have any idea who did? No. Things took a rather shocking turn in the Murdoch case as the authorities revealed that Alec Murdoch had arranged his shooting. He had hired a hitman named Curtis Edward Smith to shoot him in the head. Then, police arrested 61-year-old Curtis Smith. Police say Murdoch hired Smith to kill him. Yeah, he wanted me to kill him. Why did Alec Murdoch arrange his own murder? Turns out Alec Murdoch had purchased an insurance worth $10 million on his name, which his son, Buster Murdoch, would inherit after his death. He was arrested on September 15, 2021, but was released for a $20,000 bond on the 16th. Another twist in the Alex Murdoch case, the new criminal charges the disgraced lawyer is facing. But a month after his release on October 14th, Alec Murdoch was arrested again, this time for misappropriating insurance settlement funds in the trip and fall death of his longtime housekeeper, Gloria Soderfield. A bunch of people kept coming up to me and they're like, did you know the Murdoch boys are behind it? On July 14th, 2022, Alec Murdoch was indicted for the murder of his wife and kid. 
On January 23, 2023, the Murdoch trial began. The judges were shown a series of evidence, including a Snapchat video recorded by Paul at around 8.44 p.m., which featured the voices of Paul, Maggie, and Al. That's a guinea. This is a chicken. Come here, Come here, Come here, On February 2nd, the case made significant progress, and the prosecutors showed videos of Alec wearing two different shirts on the night of the murders. <laughs> Alec Murdoch admitted to lying about his whereabouts on the day his wife and son were killed. And I lied about being down there. And I'm so sorry that I did. I had a deputy sheriff taking gunshot test from my hands, coupled with my distrust for sled, caused me to have paranoid thoughts. However, he denied killing his wife and son. I would never intentionally do anything to hurt either one of them. In a recent court hearing, Alex's brother John Marvin Murdoch broke into tears while cleaning up the remains of his nephew's body. I saw blood, I saw brains, I saw pieces of skull. After 28 days, 75 witnesses, and less than three hours of deliberation, the jury finding Alec Murdoch guilty of killing his wife Maggie and son Paul. A prominent lawyer in the U.S. will spend the rest uh, of life in jail. I sentence you for the term of the rest of your natural life. Moments after that verdict was read, Alec Murdoch turning back to his surviving son mouthing, I'm sorry, I love you. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Crime 101. We'll see you next time with another spine-chilling story.